in this series, my brother and I will be playing in a best of one format with all cards unlimited up to OP04. The kicker is that we will be spinning a wheel each episode to determine which leader our deck will be built around, who will take the helm of their ship and pilot it to victory. This is the One Piece Captain's Wheel. What's going on, yo? It's Gum Gum TCG here, back again with Tanner909, and we are ready to get into some Captain's Wheel in the new year. That's right, we're finally back with this series. I know it's been a little bit of a hiatus. We had a lot of things going on. Been hard to coordinate time to do it, but we are back. We will have more episodes for you consistently, and uh, we've made a couple changes to the wheel. Do you want to tell them about that a little bit, Tanner? Yeah, so uh, in the past, guys, as you all know, Jacob and I have both had our own individual wheels here. So he's got his wheel, I've got my wheel, and they started with the exact same leaders on them. And every time new leaders come, we put the same new leaders on there. Uh, but we've been removing only the leaders that we've individually spun. So, uh, for example, last week I spun... Oh gosh, I can't remember who I spun last week. Um, it's Kennymon. Kennymon, Kennymon, that's right. Uh, so I removed Kennymon and Jacob removed the leader that he spun. I think it was Yamato. Um, yep. But I kept Yamato and he kept Kennymon on his wheel. Well, moving forward, we cleaned up the wheels. We removed all leaders that have been played up to this point, And we are going to use the same wheel moving forward. So that's right. Um, as, as we continue through Captain's Wheel, we wanted to be able to keep up with the pace of releases. Um, they're dropping product and new leaders left and right in this game, which is a great thing for the community, great thing for the, the health of the game. Uh, but it makes series like this a little harder to keep up with. So we're going to yeah. we're going to fix that. So absolutely. Uh, uh, Jacob, before we get started, like I, like you said, it's been a little while since we've been here. Why don't we, you just refresh everybody the, the ban list? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So on the ban list, we have Kabaji because uh, Nami is a menace, but we don't have to worry about Nami anymore anyway. Uh, and then we also have 10 drop Charlotte Linlin on here, just in case a Big Mom Pirates leader is spun. It's not just a blowout because of that card. You know, it might take a little bit more interesting deck building than just how fast can I get to 10 drop Charlotte Linlin. Um, other than that, that's all the banned cards. And I'm ready to jump into a new game. How are you feeling, man? Yeah, man. Big hiatus, big time off for the holidays and stuff, but I'm ready to get back to kicking your butt. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's get into this. Maybe this will be the year of gum gum and not so much the year of Tanner 909. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't hold your breath. <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead and spin this wheel. We'll see y'all on the other side. All right, guys, so I'm excited. Uh, it's been a little while since we've done this. Um, if you can't tell, I'm a little under the weather right now, not feeling the greatest, but uh, I am excited to get back into Captain's Wheel here, so please excuse my my stuffy nose, and, and if I have any sniffles through the video, I apologize in advance, but uh, uh, I am pumped to spin. Uh, really got a lot of fun leaders left on this list, and all the new ones that came out in OPO5, so... Um, why don't we just give this a spin here? Um, some highlights. I've been really itching to play some some classic white beard now that uh, now that nine nine beards back and it's full power again. I loved that deck when it came out. Um, I think Magellan with the new purple cards is an insane deck. Um, and yeah, with that being said, let's uh, let's give her a spin and see what we get. All right, so let's see here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> so if, uh, if you guys don't know, Blue Purple Croc is probably my favorite leader in the game. Um, it is not the best leader in the game. It is not the most... Uh, uh, you know, it doesn't provide a lot, uh, but I just think he's so cool. The effect is so strong, so powerful, and I think we can definitely cook something up with this. So let's hop over into the deck builder. I've got a few different routes think, in my head as to ways we could build this, but let's throw something together and see what we can do. All right, y'all. Got the wheel pulled up, and like we mentioned, we consolidated it, and we added uh, the new leaders, so... 
uh i'm excited for this honestly i think there's a lot of fun leaders on here still um i mean neither of us have spun edward newgate and i'm kind of scared that today is going to be that day that one of us is going to spin newgate at full power with boat um that's kind of my fear but uh you know we could see some other cool leaders like some of the new leaders sakazuki is very powerful and uh right out of opo5 uh, and nell is also very powerful right out of opo5 and so is purple luffy i think that uh rosinante if it's built well is hard to deal with too and then uh you also have betty which can be very very strong as well uh sabo also a strong leader but uh just maybe a little bit less so than the others however uh I'm excited to get spinning, so let's just go ahead and give this thing a couple spins. Uh, see what we can land on. Maybe we can get something to blow them out the water today. Oh. Oh. Red, purple, Luffy. That's interesting. I've actually been testing this deck a little bit in my spare time. Even though all my homies hate red decks, uh, this is not so much a red format. And I've been trying to figure some other things out to combat Sakazuki. And I've been liking this leader a lot. However, the deck building's a little strange on it. How about we jump into the sim and get something cooking? All right, y'all. So uh, like uh, like you saw in the wheel spin here, we got blue purple croc. Um, if you guys don't know what this leader does, because again, he's not the most popular leader in the game. Uh, he says, Dawn X1, after you activate an event, you may draw one card if you have four or less cards in your hand and haven't drawn a card using this leader's effect during this turn. So basically what that means is that if uh, if your leader has a dawn on him and you use an event and your car your hand is four or less cards, uh, you get to you get a free draw, which is really strong, uh, really good effect for you know just refilling your hand, keeping momentum of the pace of the game. If you can get in that sweet spot of like three to five cards and keep spending one a turn, keeping your hand at four. Uh, and using it for like counter events like Love Love Beam or like, uh, you know, now we've even got stuff like Rubber Band of Doom from Nami lists and Blast Breath, uh, Dragon Twister. There's all kinds of good counter events in blue and purple. But um, let's start to kind of put this together. Um, I always like to start thinking about uh, top end. Um, so top end here, we're definitely playing a play set of the blue purple crocodile. Um, this car, or the, the purple crocodile. This is from OPO4, uh, on play Dawn minus two. If your leader is Baroque Works, place one card from the top of your deck on top of your life. Heal a card, completely free. Uh, well, not completely free, Dawn minus two, but uh, he also has a second effect that lets you cycle a card uh, for Dawn minus one during your opponent's attack. Uh, so if you have, you know, a card with no counter in hand, you can just trash it, draw a new one, see if you get something better. So pretty strong effect. Um, we are going to play, let's see here, other top end. It's probably going to be this 10 drop Kaido right here. I don't think we're going to max out, but having two, maybe three copies of this in the deck is really going to let us like you know refill our hand get a huge amount of resources that he has to dwindle down to keep fighting us um so definitely a strong strong card there um and then i'd like to go ahead and just start looking at events man because because that's what this deck relies on um i think we're definitely going to play some amount of three thousand worlds and some amount of red rock um now you know, if you're paying attention to the OPO5 metagame, Sakazuki doesn't really play a lot of these cards. Sakazuki's the, the big removal deck right now, and they don't play a ton of these. You may see some 3,000 worlds, but very rarely do you see Red Rock. And that's just because they have so much uh, cost minusing. But when you don't have cost minusing, being able to get rid of anything for 6 Dawn and then draw a card too because of our leader effect, that's pretty strong. Uh, that's pretty strong. Um, so we're definitely going to play some combination of those. Uh, without a doubt, we're playing a play set of Love, Love, Mellow. This card is way too strong for this deck. It's almost like it was made for this deck. Um, other events we might consider playing here. Um, let's see. This is cute, but it's got a Dawn minus one, and I don't really want to lose dawn for something like that i'd rather play a, a blast breath so maybe we play some blast breaths 
Maybe we play some Gum Gum Rain. Uh, do we play Gum Gum Rain or do we play Jet Gatling? Jet Gatling's got a better trigger with the ramp. Um, so yeah, I think we played the Jet Gatling. Let's do that. Um, and yeah, that's you know that's a handful of events right there. Uh, blockers. Let's get some blockers. This is a very defensive deck, you guys. It's very much like defend hard. You know, get to your get to your end game. Drop the bombs and defend with your two Ks. Defend with your events. Put stuff away. Um, so let's let's get some good blockers going here. We're definitely playing Miss All Sunday. Best best blocker for Croc. Period. No questions asked. Um, this card, if you don't know, on KO and your leader has Broke Works type, grab an event back from the trash. Just recycle one. Sure, why not? Um, you know, it's funny. Jacob and I were talking some deck building not too long ago, and he told me to play this in, in a Blue Croc deck that I was playing. And I thought it was kind of silly, but I think if we hit this out of trigger, he'd probably have quite a giggle. So let's uh, let's put a couple copies of Boa Hancock in here. And then I think Queen is just too good to not play. Um, Queen is an incredibly strong blocker, always has been. Um, we're not doing a ton of Dawn minusing, so getting Dawn back with Kid is good but we're not that's not like our focus so i don't think that's going to be the play there uh, but we may drop hmm. thinking about instead of the boa hancock we might play this law but um nah let's just stick to that um then let's fill out some 2ks we need at least 12 i'd say um Good 2Ks in this colorway. Let's see. This Frankie's actually a pretty good one. It can catch people off guard. And we don't have a ton of attackers right now, so that could be pretty good. Um, so let's put in some Frankie. Let's put in Sasaki to, to reset your hand in case we just brick like crazy is really good. Um, and then let's go... At least two or three more. Um, just go with a couple of X straight because he can also be an attacker. So that's pretty good. We'll fill out the 12. Um, and then we just kind of need some like mid rangey stuff, some like fives, some maybe some fours, some fives. Um, ooh. We could do some Kuma Pacifista Silliness. Um, nah, that doesn't seem that great. Um, da, 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 da. You know what card did come out though that we can play that is actually nuts in this this deck is this ulti. This ulti is insane in here. Uh, if your leader is multicolored, look at the top three cards of your deck, add one card to your hand, any card, uh, then place the rest in any order on the top or bottom of your deck. So you get to you get to search anything and then stack the top two cards of your deck if you want to, or put them on the bottom if they're not great. So um, really strong effect there. We're definitely gonna put that in there. And that leaves us three slots open. Um, I think we might want to trim down. Might want to trim down this Bella Hancock. That's good. I, I think Law would just be a better blocker here. Um, it is another no counter, unfortunately, but it is just kind of better. Um, and the Desert Spada, knowing what we're going to stack is going to be really strong in this deck. So I think this might be what we're going to go in today with. So let's see. We've got a good handful of events here. Um, if I was to trim anything down, I'd probably trim a Sasaki for another Jet Gatling because that's just a better card for us, I think. Um, no counters. We've got four... 
seven, nine. And that's it. And then, of course, the events. But, um, yeah, this is looking strong, you guys. Um, I think I'm going to save this. I'm going to holler back at, at Gum Gum and see if we're ready to get back into this. Let's give it a shot. All right, y'all. I got the red purple Luffy leader pulled up here. And if you don't know what this leader does, he is a 6,000 power leader with three life, red purple, straw hat crew typing. And he says, activate main once per turn. If your field has zero Dawn, or if your board has eight or more Dawn, you get to add a Dawn from your Dawn deck active. So uh, the name of the game with this leader is ramp hard, ramp fast, play cards that boost your leader's attack power up and uh then most decks are playing gear five luffy to turn skip your opponent because you can get there very quickly and just kill them the next turn so uh i'm thinking that we play a similar strategy to that you know i mean we could go straw hat route and just play a very uh straw hat centric focused build but i'm kind of thinking that we need to exploit some of these other cards some of the ramp tools some of the better cards so uh, let's go ahead and start off with seven drop kid this card's insanely powerful and i think that it's pretty good in this leader's uh deck list um then i think we should also be playing some good 2ks which one of them is for if i can find him and then the other one is um uh uso hachi those are both good 2Ks, just uh, nice searchable 2Ks when we put Nami in the deck. We can also play three copies of this Gear 5 Luffy. I think that that's hilarious, and we're going to try to turn skip Tanner today. Uh, we're going to play Nami's. I'm wondering if we should play Sanji's as another searchable counter. Um, I'm thinking maybe, but for now let's add a couple more pieces in here like rush luffy uh you got to play rush luffy this card's insane um i do want to play some diable jambe because this card's really really strong when you pair it with the gear five luffy if you get them down to a point where they have like one life left or no life left and you do this turn skip and then you have diable jambe against a field of blockers it doesn't really matter you just get to kick them right in the face uh so i really like that and then we're also going to include uh radical beam Radical Beam, just insanely powerful. With this leader, you take one life and your Rad Beam is online for 4K block, uh, 4K counter, which is really, really strong. Uh, I've also been liking this 6K Sanji. I'm kind of debating on putting this in here as well. You know, I think that it's a pretty strong card, pretty strong contender for this deck. So I might slap two or three of this in there. Uh, we'll refine it a little bit more here in the here in a minute, of course. But one card that I do think we have to include is going to be edward newgate and uh you know i try to stick to something more themed and traditional when it comes to building a leader for this series uh however i think with this leader we have a case where you need a little bit more help you know with three life it's kind of hard you got to make your leader big you got to do some things to make it uh almost a little unfair at times and that being seven drop kid that being edward newgate so I think that's what we're going to have to do. I think we're also going to play four copies of Basil Hawkins because on turn, uh, theoretically, we want to go second with this leader. And then on turn two, we can drop Hawkins to ramp to five. Then we'll be on seven, turn three to drop Kid. And then um, turn four, we'll be on eight. We can ramp to drop Newgate. And then the next turn, theoretically, we should be able to drop Luffy and use Jambe to close the game out. But I'm going to add a couple more things in here and I'll be right back. All right, y'all. And I've completed building the list. I believe this is the list we're going to take for today. Uh, so I ended up cutting those Rush Sanjis out for Brooks. Uh, just the, the way I was building this deck to play in OPO5 format is a little bit different from how I would build this deck for playing against some other random ass leader. So playing against some other random ass leader, I'm going to play a couple more 2Ks be a little bit more defensive um and not so rush centric so uh we've got four copies of nami four copies of newgate uh because we got to see it our searcher isn't searching for it so we got to be able to find it if we can't search for it uh we got three copies of chopper just as a little chump blocker in case we need it uh we have uh two copies of brook for a good 2k uh it is playable but probably won't hit the field just like it as a searchable 2k we have three copies of rush luffy i really like this card and i think that it can help us close out the game as well 
We have four Basil Hawkins to help us ramp. We have four Uso Hachi and four Frenoske, both respectively for 2k counters. However, Frenoske is a little bit better because if you have eight or more Dawn, he gains Rush. So if we need it, we could always drop Frankie on the field and maybe go for game with Frankie with a Rush. Uh, then we also have three copies of the Gear 5 10 Drop Luffy to turn skip our opponent. And then we have three Queen. Now that I'm thinking about it, though, I kind of want to cut uh, one chopper for an extra queen just because queen is not searchable. And late game, if we need it, I think queen will be a little better than chopper. So uh, I'm going to add one more queen in there if I can find him. There he is. Uh, and then we have four copies of kid. Another thing that is not searchable with our leader or I mean with our Nami. So we have to play it at four. I would play a card like uh, when you're at CU5 Pirates, however, the only extra thing that would help us search is kid and i don't feel that's super necessary uh then we are also on four copies of rad beam just to give us some extra counter power you know this makes our leader 10k in a battle which is absurd especially only after taking one life uh then we are on three diable jambe should be able to see that off of nami or off some draws and life something like that to help us close out the game with our monkey d luffy maybe even our Frenoske if we're lucky enough uh, we're on two copies of gum gum jack gatling for a searchable zero counter event because we do play quite a couple quite a few cards that have no counter so we want to be able to use that with one of those if we need to uh and then we also are playing lead performer disaster i was playing zero Juro, but i decided to cut it for this because uh just not really into don't don't know what to expect from his wheel so i kind of want to play something that might get us a little more advantage and not get removed so easily like zero Juro. Uh, this will get us an extra card and an extra Dawn if we don't have Hawkins. So that's going to be the list for today. Let's go ahead and give him a call back and uh, jump into this game and see if we can't clean this up. All right, man. Uh, back with our leaders for today. How are you feeling about it? I'm feeling pretty good, man. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, you'll, you'll see when we hop in here, but you'll know as soon as you see why I'm excited. So Pretty good. I imagine it's a leader that you're playing or have played before. Maybe. Um, yeah, that, that's what that's indicating to me. You know, if you're feeling pretty good about it, I, I have a feeling that it's something you've played before. But uh, before we hop into this game, I do want to shout out Dueling Guard. If you haven't checked out Dueling Guard before, they make the best TCG accessory companies on the market. They make high quality anime inspired deck boxes, binders, and play mats. And if you don't, if you're not rocking Dueling Guard, you're behind on the times. They're the best out right now. So make sure to go check out the link in my description for a link to their site and use code GUMGUMTCG for a discount at checkout. What? You haven't heard of Dueling Guard? Dueling Guard is the best TCG accessory company on the market. They have high quality deck boxes, binders, and play mats made for people who enjoy playing and collecting trading card games in style. They have tons of designs based off of fan favorite animes such as One Piece, Bleach, Full Metal Alchemist, and many more. They hit the ground running earlier this year making high quality TCG accessories with beautiful designs that have sold out many times, so if you haven't picked up any of their products, make sure to do so before they sell out again. I have a few deck boxes and playmats from them already and can attest to how they don't cut any corners when it comes to quality, performance, and design. I highly recommend their products and use them every time I play cards. Be sure to check the description below for a link to their site and use code GUMGUMTCG for a discount at checkout. And I sent a code over to you, man. So whenever you're ready, we can go ahead and hop into this. I'm ready to see what leader you're rocking. I'm feeling pretty good about it, too. It's actually something that I've been testing a little bit. Oh, cool. Well, let's hop in. Uh, make sure I got the right one. I do. All right. Let's do it. Oh, oh interesting oh, okay yeah you see why i'm excited as, as everybody I knows do. this is without a doubt my favorite leader the game has ever seen um, blue purple croc it is not the best leader in the game <laughs> for sure but it, but it is it is it just it creates these really gr if you get into the right game state it creates these really grindy games where you just gotta like one card after another outvalue your opponent until they're out of resources and it's 100%. just a, a super fun play style that i've always enjoyed so um yeah, well I'm pumped <laughs> Hopefully we can't get to a grindy game state. My deck is pretty fast paced and likes to kill yeah. you quick. So yeah. uh, I'm going to get to choose 
the order here, and I'm going to go second, man. I like that going second second curve. Yeah, I'm going to try. Okay. Hands are right, but I definitely think I can find better. And yeah, I got to Maybe I should have kept the first one. Wow. Yeah, I definitely should have kept the first (laughs) one. But um, okay, well, we'll start with the law blocker and pass it back. Hey, that's not bad. That's not a bad start at all. And, um, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll start with a blocker of my own. Might as well. Um, okay, so here, let's go. Um, hmm. let's just go six at you. See what you do with it. Uh, six at me is going to eat a Basil Hawkins. Basil Hawkins is on. Okay, well then how about I give you another law blocker to deal with? Hey man, that's completely fine with me. Uh, let's start this turn with a six of our own. <clears throat> I'm going to let that one through. We're going to start doing what Croc likes to do best, and that is uh, silly, silly things. Um play an event card and draw a card yeah man this deck is so fun i love it i love it i love it (laughs) um i think i'm going to order them that way and return cards to deck and i'll use card action to get a draw and resolve out of there so all right and then i've got kind of a decision here to make do i ramp or do i ramp yeah exactly that's that's exactly (laughs) the decision so how do I um, do I play? I think I'm gonna Juro? ramp. No, I decided to opt for something not zero Juro in case you had a removal base deck. Mm. So I'm playing Disaster. So I'm gonna get a draw and a ramp. Okay, yeah. This this card's really good. I think. I think, especially for this deck, like sometimes you're just clogged with top end <clears> and stuff. And there have been yeah. times when I've been testing red purple Luffy, and I've been at ten dawn. And the best play that I had was still to play the lead performer disaster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, just to see if I can get a 2K or something, you know? But Yeah, uh, no, sometimes it's like that. Yep, yep. Um, but with that being said, I think we're just going to start swinging big numbers at you, man. See what see what you do about it. Swing the big number. Um, yeah, I could take this here. Or I could block it. I, I honestly think I might just take it. Yeah, I think sense. I'm just going to take that. Um, I'm going to pass it back. Awesome. And I drew exactly what I was looking for. Just the most skilled player in the world over here. Not, not <laughs> Actually, I played that wrong. Wow. I would say if it's seven drop kid, then you yeah, messed up. <laughs> I did mess up. <laughs> you know, I, I said yeah. I've been testing this. I've been testing it for like a day. <laughs> it's okay i'll, I'll treat um, it well yeah yeah i'll here's what we can do you can play the seven drop kid minus the dawn give him the boost and i'll still i'll treat this like a 7k attack just because yeah it's, okay and to get out of that i'll just block so yeah that's yeah. fair i do have the kid and, it's all seven uh, dawn but no no play first i was like this is weird yeah yeah this is <laughs> so strange. I, in the build i've been testing i haven't been playing seven drop kid oh really yeah so yeah. um it's kind of strange card to play for me you know i'm not much of a purple or a red player but um yeah trying something different out for this format makes sense um hmm. I think I can afford to take a few hits here. I've got a blocker up still, and unless you pop it, which I don't see a way that you're going to do that cleanly, um, I can block one attack and take one hit next turn. So I think what I'm going to do is something a little funny. So, you know, blue, purple, croc, the the, the list is tight because you want to play events. You got to play enough 2Ks. You want to play yeah. some top end and some blockers. And then by the time for you sure. get all of that in there, you got no room left for mid range. So some of my mid range is Usopp is my 2Ks. <laughs> oh, so, you know, I'm not too mad at that. I'll give you a Hawkins. That's kind of dead in my hand. Yep, and then I will just swat at you for seven here. Keep taking card by card. Uh, I think I will give you the blocker here. Sure, sure. Take a blocker for uh, 1k. 
go pass. Yeah, that's all she wrote. All right. Well, I am at eight dawn, so I do get the ramp. Yep. Now here he comes. Um, I here do have comes. the new game. <laughs> yep, yep, here we go. And I do have the 8k swing with the Dawn Minus to make my leader 9k. Okay, so... It doesn't matter. I'm taking one, I'm blocking one, so... Um, yeah. I'll take that one and I'll block this one. Sure. And we'll pass it back. Alright, so we are on 8 Dawn here. Uh, we don't have a great play. No Purple Croc? Mm -hmm. That's not a great but blue play croc. Here. Blue croc. That's also not a great play here, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> but um, think for a minute here. Yeah, I just because like if I go if I go eight croc here, if I have it. Like, that's all your dawn. I'm hitting you all my like dawn. three times I'm next turn. Three hits next turn, and you're probably dropping another new gate next turn. <laughs> and so, like, that's the problem with this red purple Luffy deck, man. Is it just puts you in these positions where there is no good play whatsoever. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, definitely. I think the only good play that I have is swing <laughs> extra large. It's, <laughs> You just poke the kid for eight. <laughs> poke the kid? Yeah, I think it's the best I can do. So, I mean, I give you a, a 1K. Yep, might as well, right? Um, I'll drop this, and I'll pass it back. All righty. Um, that's a funny draw. Um by a 6k leader with my favorite leader in the game <laughs> yeah. yeah well yeah. we're gonna go like this and get rid of that sunday you will get your ad back but um I knew she wasn't long for this world but i figured getting the event back is better than nothing so what happened there did you take the life no i drew desert spotted from trash and it didn't continue the attack guess it did not dang it why does it do this man well that's all right um i'm gonna poke you for nine here why did that so wait it just canceled the attack uh, i guess so i popped the the all sunday but i i it should have gone through for 12 at you that's wild um yeah okay um let's see then i guess i'll do <laughs> this and this. Sure. Um. Another seven kid. I can ramp again. Uh, not another seven kid. I wish I had another seven kid. I do have a queen though. I think that's pretty good. And I'm gonna toss away a disaster. Uh, and then we'll go in here for nine again. Yeah, nine's gonna get through. It's fine. And I'll pass. All right, <clears throat> so let's. I know you got a red rock somewhere, man. Like you would think. Three um, <laughs> K worlds. You would think. Um, let's see here, I got a lot of thinking to do on this one. So give me just a second. I can imagine. I hope that new gate doesn't bug out like that again. I mean, yeah, that was unfortunate. Yeah, it really kind of messed up the game state here. But um... yeah, I mean, I th <laughs> I think this is just as good as it gets. So. Um, oh, draw a whole bunch of cards. Yeah, that yeah. is pretty good, man. Yeah, that's as, that's as good as I can do, so. Well, let's see what you got for 10k swing. 10k swing. You got 10 cards. I know you can counter. Yeah, it's just it's like earth count, man.
Let's go here. What? Um. My girlfriend came home during lunch. Possibly. Counter out of this. Um, okay, so I'll go that. And I think we'll just have to drop this. Yep, um, kick card. One and one. Yep. Let's go eight with the boost. Yep, I think I've got to take that one. No trigger there. Go ramp again. Yep. Go seven. There's no way, dude. There's no way. We've got the stupid tennis my blue feet, too. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> All right, yep, do it. Um, well, you know, swing with the queen if you got the if you got the Luffy. I mean, I mean it's well, a you're at one life, right? So like, if if, if the queen hit doesn't go through which i expect it not to it's just a 6k like i dropped the luffy and i might not win you know like then i'm at two life with you at 10 dawn two 5ks and a 12k like i might die yeah but you're at 7k bro i think you got this <laughs> yeah i guess so i mean i mean that's what this deck does is it pushes so. tell me the 2k I mean, I do have the 2K, but I think you're still fine. <laughs> well, there he is. <laughs> yep, yep. Doing... Golly, you saw every card this deck likes to see. Uh, that's why I like this deck, because you always see every card. No, bro. When yes. I play this deck, I see four Namis and a Diable Jambe with no top end. And it's like... <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, uh, putting that one back for Kid did make it so I can't ramp to one here. But, yep. I mean, I, I still get another turn, and yep. then I'm going to ramp to one. Oh, yep. no, I don't ramp. Um, you can ramp with your 10 cost. But... I can ramp with the 10 the ten cost. However, the, the kid thing did not last because this counts as another turn, so I'm not yes. at seven. Yes, um, I so maybe that. I shouldn't have done that because now I would have I been at, like, four or five dawn instead of uh, three. For sure. But... Um, I mean, seven, 12, <laughs> Dude, bro, fucking embarrassed with my favorite deck of all time. <laughs> embarrassed. Yeah. Live YouTube. Ah, that's frustrating. Uh, that's yeah. Really it happens, man. I mean, I told you the 2020. Or it's, it's my year for Captain's Wheel, brother. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. It's my my year to play a 6K leader. Yeah, that's right, man. Oh, uh, man. That was a good one, though. That was that was pretty good. You know, I didn't expect you to spend this leader. Uh, and I did try to play around, like, if you spun soccer or something like that. Sure, um, sure. Yeah. No, but... I think, uh, think any time you're across from Red Purple Luffy and they go, like, you know nami into lead performer disaster into <laughs> into kid into newgate into queen like you're just losing that game there's it doesn't matter yeah. what deck you're playing yeah you know? i mean you can see in my hand too i had the jambe i had a uh, zero cost event i had a rad beam i had two two k's uh because if they establish the kid before they put the newgate on field they're a 9k leader that turn yeah you know it's I mean? broken it's, and 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 the best thing you have to attack into usually is the 8k kid so like yeah, that's not very good okay. to attack into <laughs> great i save a dawn yeah <laughs> oh man that's miserable yeah. but uh, i've been enjoying playing this leader on the sim you know it's fun it's funny um it's hard to beat too you know like sure. not all the top decks right now have a clean out for if my leader's 9k you know they have to yeah. use all their dawn to yep. try to attack and it's just like okay i'll pitch my whole hand i'll turn skip you next turn and then i'll kill you yeah i was like let me put this x drake on field i'll definitely get a like a good six or seven k swing in here or there no. yeah <laughs> dude didn't even turn sideways once <laughs> well uh 
That was a good game, man, and it's got me excited for the rest of Captain's Wheel. Yeah, it was good for me, at least. Uh, it's got me excited for uh, some more Captain's Wheel. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope you all are ready to see some more Captain's Wheel this year. Like I said, we're going to be trying to push it out a little more consistently and uh, hopefully catch up to some of these cooler leaders and newer leaders uh, a little bit quicker than you uh, might expect because of the new wheel. Uh, so... Uh, we'll make sure to update that. I'll take off uh, Croc and you'll take off Luffy. And I guess we'll see y'all next week with a new spin. How are you Absolutely. feeling, man? Absolutely. Uh, you know, a little salty losing with my favorite leader, <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> I'll yeah. take it. I'll take it. I'll get over it next week. So. Yeah, you'll probably <laughs> spend something broken next week, so yeah. don't even worry about it. Yeah. But uh, I do want to say, if you're not subscribed yet and you like to see this kind of content, definitely make sure to subscribe. We're almost at a thousand subscribers, and uh, if you want to talk more about the One Piece card game, definitely be sure to join my Discord. I'll have a link to that down in the description below. Make sure to go check out Dueling Guard for the best TCG accessories on the market and use code GUMGUMTCG. And with that, uh, we'll see y'all on the next episode of Captain's Wheel. Peace.